In my last live stream, which is linked in the description box below, I reviewed some film of another YouTube creator putting game on a woman on the panel. I was not satisfied with the review, and so I want to kind of fill in some gaps that I left. I think that between it being live and I was distracted by the chat, which was more interesting to me than the video that I'd already seen several times. So for that, I apologize. It was fairly lackluster advice, and I would like to, like I said, fill in the gaps. Now, if you didn't see that, go back and take a look at that if you want. Go to timestamp 645. That's where the relevant parts begins. If you don't want to jump back and do all that, you just want to hear me go on from here, then I'm basically critiquing what was a bad interaction. I don't know if I'd call it putting it. However it was, the guy was sort of making advances. The girl wasn't having it. And uh, he did a few things wrong. Now, on top of the uh, vulgarity is one that I, I mentioned. Really, the, the, the most important thing, I think, that I failed to mention was the most important thing of all. And also, I failed to mention it is that he's talking to, in, in both clips, he's talking to another guy about the girl. So it's an indirect approach. And um, while for the guy making, making the first step, that's obviously going to be more comfortable, right? There's a degree of separation you can sort of test the water and see what response you get, um, but then also back off it and sort of have plausible de deniability because, oh, I'm doing it as, I'm doing a bit. I'm just joking with my friend. You know, however, it, it adds in that layer of security. What you want to do with a woman is form a connection. And, I mean, if you if you spin, the, spin it around, and put yourself in her shoes and imagine being on someone else's YouTube channel. You've got 100, 150 people watching at that time. More will watch later. And two, pe two dudes are talking about you with you right there, but not to you. It's, um, it's a pretty uncomfortable feeling. And it actually creates more distance than less. You want to create less psychological distance. So what would I suggest doing there? Well, first of all, talk to her directly. You're forming the connection with her. You're not forming it with your buddy. Women are going to, their sexual attraction to a dude is going to be based way more off of the interpersonal connection than just raw physical attraction. So when you're talking to your buddy, you're going, oh yeah, I'd fuck her. That's not how, not how her brain works, right? If you, were talking to, if you were talking to a dude about another dude, or if chick brains work just like dude brains, then this approach would work because you'd hear, oh, that dude wants to fuck me. And then you'd either be like, yeah, I'm in or yeah, no, I'm out. But... That's not what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a female brain. You have to connect with her. So leave your buddy out of it altogether. He's not involved in this. It's the two of you. Um, it also shows... I mean, it's, it's, it's probably the least obvious to the person doing it that when you hit on a chick indirectly by talking to your friend... It's cowardice. It's fear of rejection, right? So, approaching her directly, or interacting with her directly, will also display some confidence, which is really the best thing that you can do for yourself. If I could give you one trait, or piece of advice, whatever, a trait that closes the deal, it would be confidence every time. It doesn't matter if you're fat, short, ugly, um, stupid, goofy, smell weird. 
broke. If you're confident, you can overcome all those things. So, anyways, that's what I thought was really missing from from last night's sort of, I don't know if analysis is the right word or review or whatever, um, but I did want to do a little more due diligence and uh, try to give some actual feedback, not just kind of bounce through it to get to an open panel. So definitely don't triangulate your communication to a girl. You want to you wanna go and connect with her directly if you do it in front of an audience, it's going to be a little harder. You're going to have to tiptoe. Just be aware that she's also going to be aware of the audience the whole time. So err on the side of not crude or vulgar. Yeah. That's what I got. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Do all the things. Time for stupidity. Some clever dick on the internet didn't find the great loophole in all of the world's laws. Bitch snitch. Bam.